Dassault Aviation has inaugurated a new Dassault Aircraft Services India Engineering Centre in Pune, that will double capacity to over 150 engineers, reinforcing Dassault's Make in India commitments and boosting local capabilities tied to the Rafale programme and global supply chains. The Indian Air Force's Elite Cobra unit has developed advanced air combat tactics to enhance Rafale squadron lethality against larger enemy formations like Pakistan's J-10C fighters. The new doctrine transforms four Rafale formations into networked strike webs using sensor fusion secure data links and layered BVR missile tactics to take on eight Pakistani J-10C fighters. Chennai-based Zupa and Mumbai-based Divide by Zero Technologies have partnered to develop mobile rapid drone fabrication units that will let the Indian military 3D print and assemble drones directly at forward bases within hours. ANI has reported, India and Indonesia are close to finalizing a BrahMos supersonic cruise missile deal, with only Russian approval pending. India's largest ever industrial delegation has arrived in Armenia, to deepen defense and security cooperation. India and Israel have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to enhance sharing of advanced technologies and promote co-development and co-production initiatives. Bangalore-based Axis Gates Technologies has partnered French firm Silis to integrate the Helma P high-energy laser weapon into a vehicle-mounted system designed by Axis Gates for the Indian Army. The Cabinet Committee on Security is reviewing the MAC-10 project Vishnu Indigenous Hypersonic Cruise Missile. And after the CCS approval, the project will move from technology development to mission mode, for mass production and induction funding. With Pakistan Army fielding the 400 km range FAR tattoo precision guided rocket system, the RDO's upcoming 300 km range Pinaka Mark II won't match this reach, that demands fast track development of 400 km range Pinaka Mark IV and 500 km plus Pinaka Mark VI. The Indian Air Force is preparing a landmark 2026 trial, where a Tejas Mark I aircraft will launch the Astra Mark I missile under radar guidance from a Su-30 fighter jet, showcasing an indigenous cooperative engagement capability. Gridbots Technologies has successfully completed trials of its indigenous Katana Stab 127 remote-controlled weapon station, tested under extreme conditions including the Gulwan Valley. Russia has offered technology transfer for its KH-69 stealth subsonic cruise missile with local production under Make in India to arm India's Su-30 fighter jets, and this offer stands out for its technology transfer scope against the Israeli Laura missile. The KH-69 has a range of 400 km and 310 kg warhead, and features radar-absorbing materials and hybrid guidance for high-precision strikes on enemy airfields and command centers, and a Su-30 can carry four KH-69 missiles per sortie. Talks with Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Dynamics are progressing, with Russia ready to share blueprints tooling and training. Shield AI has transferred its VBAT UAV technology to JSW Group for local production, despite no formal Ministry of Defense order. The AI-powered vertical takeoff and landing drone is built for GPS denied ISR missions, that will now be manufactured in Maharashtra with over 60% local content. The $90 million facility will roll out the first India-made VBAT by late 2026 and scale up to 200 units annually by 2028 for Indian and export markets. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.